We are continuing to work on the refit of our family catamaran. In the last few videos, we've been working hard on our electrical build. That includes a DIY lithium iron phosphate battery bank to the amount of 1400 amp hours, all electric appliances, Victron uh, Multi Plus inverter charger, Victron Orions. I've made a playlist of all of these videos and I'll put a link to it here in the upper right corner and I'll put a link in the video description below if you're interested in learning more about our off-grid electrical system. But today we're going to talk about a different limiting factor of cruising and that is water. Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. In today's video, we're going to be working on water purification. We have a couple of potential options for water. Most of the time, we're going to be getting water from the different marinas. And as we travel from uh, marina to marina, port to port, country to country, water cleanliness and uh, safety is going to be a pretty big concern. So if you're new to our channel, you may not know that we are actually very acclimated to living in a small space. We actually lived in an RV for several years before we bought our catamaran. And while in the RV, clean, uh, reliable drinking water was one of the things that, that concerned us for our family's health and safety. We did an awful lot of research and there are a number of options but clear source RV filters came to the top of the list. So when it came time to install water filtration on our catamaran, we reached out to clear source and they were very excited to send us a marine version of their three stage filter. And even better, they're giving us a very nice discount for our viewers if you want the same filter on your boat. Hopefully this will be an easy install, but you know how things go, never go as easy as you think they're going to go on a boat. Okay, well we got some breeze. I'm gonna have to open this. I'm gonna have to open this inside. I went ahead and moved inside because there's just a little bit of a breeze out and I don't want these peanuts going everywhere and getting in the water. No, don't want that. So that way if they go wild in here, no problem. Okay, here we go. Clear source on board. This guy is made of a high quality stainless steel. This is heavy, heavy, surprising how heavy this is. Let me just quickly show you how substantial this system is. These guys, this is probably half inch thick material. Water passing through the system is going to be filtered three times. The first one is five micron, which is going to take out most of the large chunks like dirt, rust, and sediment. The second filter is a 0.5 micron with coconut shell carbon that blocks and improves the taste and smell, and it removes chlorine, VOCs, and other contaminants. The third filter contains technology designed by NASA called VirusGuard. It provides even better protection than the most advanced survival filters like the LifeStraw. It has the certified capability to reduce bacteria like E. coli, Giardia, and now viruses. It even removes lead and pharmaceuticals. They just, they didn't skimp on anything. The whole system is just very substantial. So this is turning out to be like just other boat project, um, more involved than you think it's gonna be. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to install this clear source marine onboard water filter back here on this wall. Okay guys, I know this is probably a really awkward angle, but I want to make sure that you're able to see everything. So uh, this is the waste holding tank. Um, this guy is going to come out. This is the pump out hose. It is also coming out. This is where I'm going to install our water filter. It's going to tuck in nicely right behind 
the water tank. I should have plenty of room down here to change the filters. And uh, I think that that's gonna be a good tucked out of the way location for our onboard water filter. Oh, oh, that's the vent. That's the vent for this black tank. The black tank is empty, but, but it's not empty. Well, that sucks. But okay, well, I was gonna replace that anyway. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Guys, we didn't know. We didn't know before we started looking at boats. These hoses, whatever kind of hose this is called, they will soak in the smell of your sewage. And then your, wherever the hoses are running through the boat will stink. And that's, we have some of that going on here. And I'm, I'm pulling them out, replacing them if needed, and otherwise getting rid of this system because it is terrible all right I did have this pumped out um, a few days ago and I was hoping that maybe it would be like dry but you know I just wonder how well the pump out system actually works all right let's see if I can get this black tank out of here without something disastrous happening Oh man, it stinks. Guys, you have no idea how bad this smells. Ben, on Nahoa, your idea of uh, smell vision uh, smell TV, that's great. That's great. I wish I could convey these smells over to you. <laughs> oh man, it's not empty. Oh. Oh, this, it's been stirred up. Now the smell's even better. Oh man. Oh. oh, I gotta get my nose right down there by it. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I don't even know what to do with it now. I'm gonna have to carry this all the way off the boat. Oh man, it's dripping. Okay, I'm gonna need my hose. We can't have a we can't have a septic emergency here. This is this is craziness. Okay, I gotta get it off of here. Oh, there's at least there's at least two gallons in here. That's heavy. Okay, so I've got this pretty well cleared out. i um, got some more work to do, but at this point, I'm gonna take a moment and try to scrub stuff down. I'm gonna spare you um, watching me scrub, but basically this is where I wanna put the water filter, right here. Okay, I've made a lot of progress here getting everything clean. Uh, it is so much better now. This is where I wanna have my filter. This is the, uh, it's, <laughs> I'm actually struggling here because it's very heavy. It looks like it's 18 gauge, maybe 16 gauge stainless. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mark um, the holes here where I want. I'm going to start with the center one, get a bolt in there, and then I'm going to get it level, and then I'll mark and drill my other holes. Okay, so now I have one bolt in right here, right in the center, and I'm going to get a level, and we can check to make sure that we're level. Okay, so this is day number two of the install, and as expected, things don't always go very easily, and uh, I've had three trips to the hardware store. Hello. Hi. I just got here. What's going on? I'm um, working on installing the the water filters. I should have it finished today. I can't look at you because the sun is like right behind you. are glowing like an angel up there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so anyway, um, the direction of flow is supposed to be from left to right. So basically we're going to come out of the water tank and into the water filter and out of the water filter and then in through this hole right here and inside there is where the water pump is and it's a self-priming pump so it should be able to pull all the way through um, however this strainer was on here and um, you can see there's a whole lot of gunk in there and one of the things that we are likely to do is pull rainwater 
and put it into our tank. So I, I like the idea of having this heavy duty strainer um, first before everything. Now, of course, the clear source marine on board will take care of it. Um, but these giant chunks of stuff, well, you might as well, since I have it, I might as well go ahead and install it um, right beforehand. So I'm thinking about, so I'm thinking about putting it right here. Um, so that way the water hose will come out and it'll come over and it'll run into the strainer and then into the filter. We've got it. The system is installed. Have a look at that. It looks fantastic. And so far I'm very excited with it. So basically what I've got here is uh, my plumbing is coming out of my tank. I do have a shutoff valve that I'm going to install but I need another uh, fitting here. So I've just gone through like this for now. So coming out of my tank, I'm running through this heavy coarse screener. The only reason I'm using this is because I already had it on board. Might as well use it. Um, out of the screener from left to right, we've got the five micron, the 0.5 micron, and then the NASA engineered virus guard. Um, I believe this goes to 0. or 0 0.02 micron, but I'm, I'm not 100%. Anyway, we are fully protected. Th this is almost a sterilization filtration process going on here. Um, this technology is very similar to the, uh, to the Life Straw, to the Sawyer um, products that filter water that make uh, murky pond water into drinking water. In fact, ClearSource actually has, uh, for the RV world, for the Overlanders, a device that um, has a built-in pump. You basically throw a hose into a pond and you're pulling water out and it turns it into drinking water. It's amazing. We're getting ready to pressurize our system and see how we do. Hopefully there's no leaks. Okay guys, so that install was actually pretty easy. The hardest part was at the end I needed to prime the system. If I were to do this again, I would fill the canisters with water to help prime it. Uh, my pump just took a little bit longer than I would have hoped that it would have taken to, to get things going. Um, overall, so far, I'm very satisfied with it. I haven't noticed any change in pressure, uh, water pressure. Um, water tastes great. Very happy all the way around. I mentioned a discount code. So this code is very generous from the folks at ClearSource. I've got a link in the video description below to take you straight to ClearSource. The uh, code is going to be Salty Escape. S-A-L-T-Y-E-S-C-A-P-E. -E, all one word. Um, that's going to take you 10% off. So for this exact system that we installed here, that's going to be pretty close to 50 bucks. Um, this discount will extend to filters and everything else that you might need. I sure hope you found this video helpful and uh, please leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Bye.